Welcome to e Know How. In this video, we will look at uh, CMOS transistors, the threshold voltage of the CMOS or the NMOS and the PMOS devices which form the CMOS transistors. And we will also look at the digital operation of these transistors. So, uh, CMOS is complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology. complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology and then this forms the backbone of all the integrated circuits that are being produced uh, now so previously there were uh, integrated circuits built with the uh, BJT bipolar junction transistors but now the BJTs have been reduced to very few circuits and also only the parasitic BJTs are being used. The large ICs that are being developed right now or most of them or basically more than 90% of them I can say maybe are being developed in the CMOS technology. Now let's look at what CMOS technology is. So in CMOS technology we have two types of devices. PMOS is a P-channel metal oxide semiconductor and an NMOS which is an N-channel metal oxide semiconductor these are transistors so if you look at physically on silicon how they look like let me draw the, the diagram here so we have say a silicon substrate and silicon substrates are usually most of them start with a very lightly doped P minus material. So P minus substrate here. And the NMOS devices are formed directly on the P minus substrate, where the NMOS devices have an N plus diffusion, N plus diffusion for source and drain contacts. And then you have the oxide here. Then you have the polysilicon gate. So this is the gate and these can be both sides, one of them can be source, say you call this drain, you call this drain here and source here. So those are N plus regions and there would be contacts for the, the substrate which are P plus. P plus, this is for the bulk or what we call for the NMOS device, if you see this is the bulk here the bulk or the body is made up of P minus material. Now whereas if you look at the NMOS transistor you usually start with an N well which is again a lightly doped so you can say N minus type doped. This is called N well which is built within the P substrate and the PMOS transistor is formed with P plus diffusions for source and drain and then you have the gate this is the oxide and the polysilicon this is the gate and drain and source and drain and source are like interchangeable for these unless there are some kind of special transistors with special layouts so now you have n plus connections for the bulk of the this is the bulk of the PMOS device. The bulk of the PMOS device is made up of N minus material and whereas the bulk of the NMOS device is made up of P, P minus material. So this is NMOS device and this is PMOS device here. So this is how they look on silicon, how it's manufactured. Now let's look at uh, Let's look at the symbols that are used for the NMOS and PMOS in schematics. So NMOS is usually drawn like this, which, which this is the gate and we usually put drain on the top and source on the bottom and this is the bulk here and sometimes there is an arrow pointing on the source going outside like this. It may or may not be there, so let me draw it like this. 
usually for digital integrated circuits even the bulk is bulk connection this is the bulk b the bulk connection is not shown sometimes in digital integrated circuits because by default the bulk of the nmos is, is connected to ground so let me show the bulk here now for now and the pmos devices have a symbol like this usually there is a bubble on the gate so this is the gate and this is the this is the source on the top we usually put source on the top because for pmos devices the source is the the side that has the higher voltage and drain is here and this is the bulk or the n well here in this case the bulk of the of the pmos device and sometimes there is an arrow that is shown going in towards the gate here from the source and let's not put the arrow in this case just put the normal digital uh, pmos uh, symbol so drain source and like i said bulk may or may not be shown but let's show it here in this case so now let's look at uh, quickly look at how they operate you know more in digital circuits the the transistors are used as switches or used as switches so what happens is either they are off or on there is no in between state where there is a kind of current flowing through it and a voltage being dropped across it so uh, here what happens is a voltage other than the vdd or ground so in digital circuits they are either off or on so they pass the full voltage from source to drain so vds the voltage between the drain and the source um, is almost equal to zero or the full applied voltage which say you could put vdd here so when they are on they just act like a short and when they are off they act like an open so there might be some leakages which we will talk about later so now let's look at the threshold voltages for these uh, nmos and pmos devices because this uh, is one thing we need to learn before we look at all the digital gates that are used so now for an nmos device so let's write the put the symbol here this is the gate this is the drain this is the source now let's assume that the the bulk the bulk or is grounded or let's assume it doesn't matter so the bulk bulk is usually at ground so let's not maybe not talk about this one right now but what happens is this and you apply a voltage across drain and source so and usually you should have some kind of resistance here source resistance r now this is a voltage applied here and now uh, wh what happens is if the the current flowing through this through through this circuit would depend on what the gate voltage is here or specifically the the difference between the gate and the source voltages vgs so vgs is like a control voltage so there is a voltage called vt which we define as threshold voltage so if vgs is greater than vt so you can say the nmos is on vgs less than vt nmos is off and vgs in this case for nmos is positive so basically the gate has to be at a higher voltage compared to the source vgs is positive for the nmos so now since we are looking at it only more of 
like a switch so I say on or off and VGS is greater than VT or VGS is less than VT and this usually if say the VDD or supply voltage assume say 3 volts then VTs would be the order of uh, VTs usually will be the order of say 0.7 volts or something like that and now for other newer technologies say VDD VDD could be only 1 volt so in that case uh, VTs are built to be approximately point, uh, say 3 volts uh, just an example so it would be lower than what I'm saying is the VT would be lower than the supply voltage that is used in that technology now let's look at the PMOS on this side so the PMOS transistor this is the source this is the drain here this is the bulk and usually the source is at a higher voltage on the PMOS transistor the drain is at a lower voltage this is the gate the gate so now um, this is a positive say DC voltage here now if you want to see if the current is flowing through this or not that depends again on the difference between the the gate and the source voltages here so VGS or in this case I should say VSG because that's a positive number so source VS is greater than VG so or V if you look at VGS it would be a negative number here in this case for the PMOS device so the source has to be now let's look at it the same equations like the NMOS VSG the source to gate voltage should be greater than the absolute VT absolute value of the VT of the PMOS device now I call VTP yeah, because the why I said this is uh, if you look at many books or um, any models usually VTP is a negative number is a negative number so VSG should be greater than the absolute value of the VTP then we can say the PMOS is on PMOS is on and if VSG is less than the absolute value of VTP threshold voltage of the P, PMOS device then the PMOS is off so our so in digital circuits the the way the MOS transistors are used PMOS and NMOS are used like switches they are either on or off 